Hey everyone, I'm okay, so today I'm going to be showing you, telling you, and showing you how to cut a cheek. So let's get started. What you're going to need is a blusher brush. Now I'm going to be using my brush because I'm going to use a fan brush because I think it's so much easier to use a fan brush. So this is my number 15 brush. I'm also going to be using a blusher to start with. I'm using the Eve Pearl and this is in um, Blush Trio Sassy Cheeks, which is a medium. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of foundation to my skin and then we'll start. When I say apply foundation, what I mean is I'm gonna reapply. My skin does not look like this normally. So start with a clean face. First, we're gonna find our cheeks. So we're gonna take a fan brush and I'm just going to kind of whoop into this product, okay? You can use your whatever brush you want, but mine are the best. So you wanna find your cheekbone. How do you do that? Place your thumb at the top of your ear Take it down to kind of your nose or your lip area, it depends, you can feel it, and then work your way up, and that's the bone. This is where we want to apply the blusher. So let's make a start. I'm just going to knock off any excess. Find the bone, and first of all, in just a back and forward motion, apply color up high on the cheekbone area. Now there's somebody somewhere, before I've even finished this, typing in the comment, but where do I apply highlighter? If you just apply blusher to the, to the cheekbone. You apply highlighter on your cheekbone. Same place. I'm actually starting on the cheekbone and splaying with highlighter slightly higher up, but it doesn't matter. So the reason I've applied it higher on the cheekbone is because we want to create a cut. We want to create a cut cheek. This tends to be how I prefer to apply blusher anyway. Now this technique does not work with the kind of circular motions on the apples of the cheek. The reason being is because you're cutting a line in the cheek and you'll be cutting a line through a circle and that doesn't look great, which is why we're keeping everything very angular and going up. As we get older, everything comes down, we want to bring it back up again. So highlighter, uh, blusher, I'm sorry, right here. Now I'm going to apply a touch of highlighter just to, you know, make everyone happy. So same brush, taking the Tasha highlighter in shade one and I'm just going to apply this to the cheekbone area which is slightly higher up than I applied and I just want to apply a little bit because I don't want to take away from the blusher. Next you're going to need to get a loose or pressed powder. So we're going to use the same brush why use several others when you can just several others several others when you can just use one brush. Take a pressed powder, this is Make It Forever, and this is in shade 23. This is lighter than my skin tone, which is what we want. Take the brush and just swirl it into the pressed powder. Really go for it this time, then knock it off. We're just taking away the color that was on there. Now just take a little bit of the product onto the bristles. What we want to do is just suck in our cheeks ever so slightly, find the hollow, and we want to take this color underneath the blusher. So it's basically reverse contouring. Instead of putting a darker color in there, we're putting light. And don't be afraid, because pressed powders are great because they don't have you know, really strong pigment, a lot of them. So you can kind of really go for it to etch out that light. Now it's important that when you're doing this in this back and forward motion, you don't bring it all the way down. We're trying to create a, a section of light just underneath the blusher, but not all the way down because then it would kind of take away from the effect because then we've got our own skin color underneath that, which is what's creating that contrast. And that is how to cut a cheek. It's a very simple way of doing it. You don't need to bake it, although you absolutely can if you want, and I'll put a link down there if you want to bake it. Absolutely fine. But this way I think is more subtle, it's more beautiful, and this can be worn every day, and nobody's gonna know because um, my mirror's you know, a good six, seven miles away from me, but 
there is this contrast that looks really, really nice. Now, don't worry if you're sitting there again writing a comment such as, well, you have cheekbones, Wayne, so it's easy for you. This technique will work regardless. You may need to use a lighter powder, but it will work regardless. Just don't go mental with it. Don't expect miracles. But this really gives the illusion of a higher cheekbone without having to do any contouring, which is probably best, especially for daylight anyway. There you go. How to cut a cheek. Cheek on fleek. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so click this. You see this? Click my box. Now what? How good an offer is that? That's it. Click my box. If you are suffering or have, you know when you're applying your foundation and suddenly every single hair on your face stands on end, it makes your face look, <clears throat> you know, much, no, no, really hairy and there's no need for it, then click this box, that's, that's me, and it will take you to a video where I explain how to lay down foundation so that the hair on your face lays down really, really smoothly. You know that peach kind of fuzzy hair? So it lays down smoothly and you don't end up looking like Chewbacca. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.